Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. What up, though? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a review of episode three for season one for P Volley on Stars. Now, if you haven't watched it, you can uh, watch our reviews up in clicks, click in the upper right hand corner up there and uh, watch our first two our reviews of the first two episodes and you'll be caught up. I Just still say go watch it though, because I mean, this show definitely. is a great show. It's a great show. And like always, if you could help us out by subscribing and giving us a thumbs up and also share the channel, let us enjoy what you got, might enjoy. And without further ado, P Volley, episode three, review. Listen, so you found out a lot of as Mr. Cl uh, is it Cl Clifford, mm -hmm. as he calls it, a whole mess of tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah, a episode. A whole bunch of tea this episode. It's Man, wild. you get so much information. And we got confirmation because I think last time we said it was Memphis, but yes, it's actually but a thank you to one of our viewers. Yeah. Definitely did uh, give us full confirmation to correct it. It is Mississippi, and Autumn Night is from Houston. Yeah, from the Houston area. So, with that being said, um, you get information regarding Mercedes. Mm -hmm. um, you get information regarding the, um, I mean, yeah. the casino. Yep, you get information about a lot of a things. A lot of stuff, man. That what um, we thought was happening, that the pink is not included in all of this. They actually are going to be trying to take the land yep. to build the casino and everything else on there. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I would have suspected it as well. But... You know, some people don't want to believe what's right in front of their eyes. Always, that's true. Also, you, you see a little bit of care. Also, a little bit of character development. Um, oh yeah. You have uh, I can't remember his name. The rapper guy, Little Murder. Yeah, that's what his name is. <laughs> he took he took uh, Clifford's advice. Oh yeah. He, and uh, talked to the DJ. <laughs> hey yo, this DJ's in high school by the yeah, way. Yeah, I did not know that at first. I was like. Yeah, and his, his mom is cool with him going there at night. Yeah, but see, the thing is, he's going there. I mean, he's but it's do, for his career. In yeah, a way. he's doing something constructive. He's actually earning some money. Yeah. Granted, I don't think a club is supposed to let anyone under the age of eighteen in there. No, but, especially not around alcohol and all that. Yeah, but but I mean, it's still one. It's down south one, and it's in that kind of town. It's a small town in yeah, a way. What I mean is dope. Is 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 good that that was a good like mm -hmm. character development. But moment. we also don't know if he's actually eighteen or not. He yeah could he could be eighteen. Be 18. He could be he a could senior be in high school. That is true. I don't that is know. True. Um but it was just funny that he was in high school. Uh, I thought he was at least in college or whatever the case may be. But then you find out um the the most important information that you find out is that the uh, little girl that's on Mercedes' uh, dance team is actually that was a big bomb her shot. daughter, um, and she basically put her daughter up for adoption for a good family though. It was a, so no, not even a good family. It was the baby's father's what, wife, mm -hmm. and uh, and she basically relinquished her rights, her parenting rights, so she can have a better life. Yo, and, that's gotta be hard though. Definitely had to be hard. And she's basically, she's trying what you can see she's trying to do. And she's slowly becoming one of my favorite characters. As I, yeah, I actually before. have a lot of respect for what she's trying to yeah, do she's with her life. Yeah, she's trying given to. Given everything that she's go had, gone through, the pressure and all that. Facts. And like I said, she's trying to make sure that her daughter doesn't take the same mm -hmm. path that she did. Even though it's looking that way yeah. either way yeah. but she's trying her hardest to get her daughter to go the other way out. Mm -hmm. go take the other path don't do it the way she had to go through everything Thanks. take the easier way Thanks. but you know people children are hard-headed anyway we all were yeah but, and then you have the uh like i said the information regarding the um the uh, club the and club all, and, the and but, yo oh, let's break down that section though on how she laid the trap just to get the info. Autumn Knight sets the man up. I would say she set him up. No, she set him up because she, she left, one, she left the man with blue balls. <laughs> some severe blue, case of blue so balls. So I think he still would have got some if he didn't have that creepy behind picture on his. Uh -huh, I don't know. 
Yo, that creeped. I that, mean, she that, did that's leave what, quickly. Yeah, that's what turned. I'm not gonna say turned her off. Creeped her out. She seen a well, picture. I'm not. I don't think it creeped her out. I think it just was a signal to push her to. She gotta go. No. She gotta get out of there because of her situation of reason why she's running away and pretending to be somebody else. Yeah. To, to me, that's creepy though, man. Like, I just, mean, it is creepy. Somebody just taking random pictures of you. That's creepy. Mind you, he's married. Too. And the thing is, though, what was smooth that I that she learned. This is why I think she was going to still be there, because she had the porn playing in the background. Yeah. I so mean, as soon as she heard with the door, she's like bang, 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 exit, 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 and that just that would have been that would have been there. Yeah. So I feel like she her attentions were to stay, yeah, but once possible. she seen that picture, she was like, oh no, nah, bro, I'm done. I gotta get out of here. Um, but bombshell of his, he's the godson of the mayor. Mm-hmm. So, so all hell is going to break loose, man. It's, so he has multiple reasons to be invested in this whole situation as well. Yeah, now that they threatened him, he has even more reason of, of you know. Yeah, well, hold on. Let's pump the, pump the bricks a few seconds. Because nobody, if they didn't watch this episode yet, they don't know about who threatened him or not. So, yeah. Autumn Knight takes the tea back to uh, Uncle Clifford. Yes. Spills the beans of everything, but Uncle Clifford has one last thing that she has to do to get her ID back, her fake ID back. That's give her, give up her blonde wig, which I might say looks nice on her, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it actually fit it her uh, skin complexion very well. She's light skin, that's all it is. What you trying to say? I'm light skin. Put a blonde wig on, sex. <laughs> Got jokes. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah, Uncle Clifford uh, takes, snatches her phone out of her hand too. Texts him, tells him, "Go to Paradise Room." He goes in there thinking she's in there, but no, no. it is Uncle Clifford sitting in that chair with the wig on. Basically, gives him the ultimatum, threatens him about everything that exposes mm-hmm. all this stuff, but also lets him know. I mean, I keep secrets. I don't tell him anything, which is true because uh, our uh, biracial. Uh, character on the show who's rich which I gotta gotta take a sidetrack for a moment what? ironic and also uh, had some uh, statements to be made in that uh, scene where Uncle Clifford is talking to our uh, rich man as he's picking cotton yeah. not hand picking but using a machine to pick cotton yeah it's the, ir- it's the irony and it's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of yo. What's hilarious to me though is Uncle Clifford's outfits, bro. Yes, yo, that yo. outfit was crazy. <laughs> that outfit, point point. Point. <laughs> it was literally like a southern, like a southern old oh. school oh, yeah. dress with the poofy back. It was hilarious, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, he must be dying of heat stroke or something in that thing because it. I mean, it's Mississippi, and it looks yeah. like it's like at least summertime. Jeans on up under it. So the man had to be high. The, the wardrobe for this show is very well put together, yeah, I might add. Yeah. But one thing, I don't know if have you did you watch True Blood at all? No. The opening credits for this is airy similar to True Blood's opening credits. Okay. Like when I say it's very similar, I don't gr- Okay. So it kind of resonates together the way they both come on and start two different platforms on HBO one stars but they are very similar in the way they come on even with the music the mm. pictures the even the letters the way the letters are placed it's so similar one also thing I can speak from experience and this is like uh, from like a club standpoint mm-hmm. uh, we've been me and you've been to clubs we've been to parties whatever the case may be the moment that dance that the coach of the of the football team I uh, <laughs> had and he literally thought that they were the only two people yeah, in the yo, room, or not even the room. Great cinema. The building. It was great cinema. And the thing is, that actually happens when you're in the club, yo. <laughs> like, you just think it's just you and that person. When all while, it's so much noise going around you, you're not even paying attention. And then, boom, you just wake up and you snap back into reality and just, oh, okay. This is where I'm at. But, hey, yo, the, the whole process of this show. I would be so mad if it gets dropped. Like, dropped meaning as, like, the, the how good the season is progressing. Man, and it doesn't get renewed. It. 
Because see, I don't see that happening now on Stars. Because this so far, this show is really, really good. So I think um, this will be one of the shows that carries Stars, like Power does. I mean, it could. I mean, I haven't watched Power. Don't judge me. I don't watch Power either, but I know it. It's one of the only reason Stars is still around, honestly. Yeah, I mean, listen, and it's a good show, and I cannot wait till episode four on Sunday, man. Definitely. But before we cut away from this segment here, we I got to talk about one other thing. When they had the Trinity, as they call them, of I'm trying to think, Mississippi. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Mississippi, Mercedes, and Digit. Yeah, the white girl. Digit. See, white I'm girl learning these as names. A cheer, as a cheerleader for you, uh, what was it? Uh, Ole Miss. Yeah. The former Ole Miss cheerleader. And then you have Autumn Knight coming up there drunk. Oh, yeah, that was wild. Which is, we really going to have to get into her PTSD a lot more because she got yeah. drunk after holding Mississippi's baby and having flashbacks and PTSD moments. How much you want to bet real quick, before this is over, this this season is over, that her and Diamond's going to smash? Mississippi. Yo, no, know. they be Maybe. having the moments. I'm just waiting for her uh, boyfriend... Or whoever. But that's what I'm saying. To make an appearance on this show. Yeah, and then I feel like Diamond's going to do something. And then they're going to end up smacking. Yo, you can see the chemistry. Well, we only got five episodes left to find out. So. It's going to happen, yo. You see the chemistry. Yeah, who knows? But, oh, we can't close without also forgetting. We met uh, the drug dealer that was holding, that uh, Uncle Clifford was holding the stash for, finally, in this episode. Help oh, out yeah. with, with some cash. Who knows? Might help a little bit to the uh, issues at hand. Hopefully, yeah. But I don't know. But yeah, man. Great episode. Can't wait to the next one. Definitely cannot. But thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comments below what did you think about episode three. 